Hey, I'm Fallout Freak 24 here, and here is Kibor. Yep, and today we're going to be showing you how to get to the vault safely and quickly. If you do that, I'm actually going to say my own name this time. Exactly. Ooh, carton of cigarettes. As you can see here, there's the vault. But the thing is, we need to go a long ways away around it to get to it. I know we have to go. We have to go like a long way around it to get to it. But that's weird. These like little plots where like people put plants on. Looks like an emo kid's wrist. <laughs> wow. Card of six. Gun case. Two police pistol, baby. Woo! Be careful okay, here. Hold on one second, Victor. Let, let me like end my own commentary here for a second. Let, let me clarify this though. Okay. Like, uh, I just learned that the reason why, like, people get pissed off when commentators um, compare every game to Call of Duty, that is because, um, Victor, have you noticed that? Like, commentators, like... Yeah, a lot of people do do that, yeah. Well, the reason for that, Victor, is because, like, every single person has probably played at least one Call of Duty game their whole life. It's not a Battlefield game or a Medal of Honor game or... One of those games had general gyration. Huh. And commentators are aware of that. Um, like, almost everybody has played games like that. So they base their references on games. They, they compare games like that to... Let's say they compare a Fallout game to Modern Warfare 2. Huh. They, they do that because... Um, Let's say someone who's never played Fallout uh, watches this. They want to base, they want to have the people base their judgments on a game that they are familiar with. Yeah. So, like, let's say um, so the Striker in uh, Modern Warfare 2, and they got the Riot shotgun in here. Um, they, they go like, yeah, well, this gun is like the um, Striker because for people who haven't played this game yet. They want them to get an idea of what the game is like. Yeah. So they base on a game that they've played before to give people a general idea of what it's like. And that's the reason why people compare games to Call of Duty and whatnot. That's all I wanted to say. It makes some honest sense if you ask me, but it, it's something that would honestly tick me off. It ticks me off sometimes too, because I'm just like, people compare Dead Space 2 to Call of Duty, and I'm like, really though? Come on. I do not see what way this game is like, but it helped me, like, understand the series a little more before I even played it. So the only reason people do that is to help people understand the series who haven't played it before. That's the reason why people do that. Hopefully that, like, lowers the blood pressure of anyone who's getting pissed off at that constantly. Yeah. Because, like, I was watching a few videos, and people do that all the time, and I was gonna, like, make common sense of it out in my head. And I'm like, you know what? Next time I get a chance, I'm gonna tell people this. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna make, like, I'm gonna clarify things. That is uh, actually quite good, actually. Thank you. I actually rehearsed it. Really? I myself many, many times when I was on the job. Yeah, you want to hide when you're doing this, and if anybody hasn't noticed yet, I'm actually showing you exactly how to do this. And it'll help a lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot. And it would also help if when you get all the gold bars, you have the perk that lets you fast travel when overcompens. No, I wouldn't here. You can't fast travel in here. Well, not in there, but like when you're out back in the Mojave when you have all the gold bars because each one weighs like half a ton. So it would help a lot when you're out of the Sierra Madre and when you have all the gold bars. Screw that, I'm just gonna wait until that guy makes are you, are you saving um, the getting the gold bars for next video, or are you putting them in this one? I am saving them for the next video, because I could try a hundred times to get the gold bars, and I would fail. It requires some very, uh, uh very good precision work. Yeah. There we go. I never told 
Death Falls? Death Falls. I'm sorry. I can't understand the first word. Death Claws. Death Claws. Oh, I hate Death Claws, too. I mean, they're pretty awesome, but I hate them. Yeah. You want to give them a hug, just not too close. Yeah, it's like you want to mollywop them in the face with your charm, but not that much. Yeah, I know. Imagine if Death Claw gives you a handy. Oh. That would be rocket Oh, that would be. That'd be. Ow. Oh, dude. This is the freaking epicest. The most epic thing just happened to me. What? I um, shot a Death Claw from, like, way far back with the incendiary rounds from the anti rifle, right? And, um, like, I've seen his body, like, you be back, with some fly back, and I'm like, alright, whatever. I go over to the site of the death. His head is perfectly balanced on a pointed rock. Huh. Sinclair's bag? That's Sinclair's body? Who's Sinclair? Sinclair, he is the guy, like, made the Sierra Madre. Was he ever alive when you met him? Nope. Basically. Wow, to be buried or to die in your greatest creation. I mean, dude, just look at my video at um, 6 minutes 67 seconds and 65 seconds. You'll see him right there laying down there. That's how he died. He died in the cloud. Which is, I guess, basically like a club or something. Just, just watch. You'll see. Either way, you're getting the news from the best, dude. From only the best. You're the best. All right, now. Every good enough to put me down. Oh, you know what? Never mind. People have already. Uh. Hey, if you use healing powder, does that count as like uh, a food? Yeah. I have no idea. Well, I'm not going to risk it then. I have 46 of them, but I'm pretty low on health, so I'm just going to probably get some of my shit from Betty. Okay, everybody, at this very point, you want to put on a good piece of clothing. Like armor. Why? Because you'll see, Chris. I mean, you won't see, but the people watching will see. Watch. You start getting attacked! What do? Uh, turrets. Oh, turrets are so friendly. <laughs> oh. They're so cute and cuddly. I expect you like the ones that shoot things at you. I was watching some guys play through a uh, uh, ball of three one time. Yeah. What? Do you know what a blind let's play is? What? It's where someone makes a, like, a let's play walkthrough of the game without even playing it first on their own. That would make sense. And, um, he was terrible. He, he died five, he, he died like over ten times before he even got out of the vault. Because, <laughs> he, put, because he put all of his strength, he put his strength to ten and nothing else. Wow, what an idiot. Okay, well now we're closed in the vault. Oh my sweet Jesus. Look at that gold. It's like Fort Knox with a post apocalyptic era. Exactly. And if you don't know what that means, Fort Knox has about two thirds of all the world's gold. Around 80 85%. Yeah. Well, oh my, just look at all that gold. And in my next video, 
I'll show you how to get all of it out of the vault. And I'll... What? Oh, God, yes. Well, that's not in this video. That's in the next video. I'm Fallout Freak 24 here, and this is Killboard the Third, and we will see you later.